Miss Huey. I love Miss Huey because she teaches me things. I love Miss Huey because because she teaches me and 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 she teaches me how to read and and she gives me lots of work that I can do. I love Miss Huey because she teaches me and she gives me a lot of homework. I love Miss Huey because she always keeps because she always keeps us safe and she always let us read books and she always loves loves um she always don't let bad bad people come into school. I love Miss Huey because she likes books and I do too and she teaches us a lot. And she, she lets us have fun. I love Miss Huey because she teaches us everything. I like Well, for the last a long time, this girl had been a good teacher for me. And I still refuse to go to third grade. And what I like of Miss Bell is I want to have good days in her class. Um, I like Miss Barrow so much and I want to have very much good days in her class because I like her so much. I love Miss Barrow so much I, because he's, he is so smart and it, I would, when Miss Barrow go to the dinosaur museum with me, but I got something from, I'm going to tell something to Miss Burrow. I love Miss Burrow so much. Miss Carter is nice. She gives us more work because we ask her. And she's friendly. She's nice to people. And that's it. Miss Carter is really nice. She be, she be, she be nice to us. And sometimes, if we, if, we, if she, if she just loves us because she wants to take care of us. And she really, she really wants us to do good and do our best and to learn. And sometimes if she gets frustrated, that means just because she loves us, she don't want us to grow up and be nobody. She wants us to be somebody when we'll be a teenager and a grown up. And she really take care of us like our mom, but she don't be there for us like our mom. Miss Carter is good because she always gives us some math work because math is adding and subtracting and multiplication is easy. Miss Carter is nice because she let us have some free time on the computer and play with the blocks. Miss Carter says I'm going to send us on the computer finding me on the computer. I love her so much because she gave us <coughs> free time on the computer and blocks, and she's super, super very nice. Ms. Carter is a very loving teacher. She cares about our education and our future. She only gives us up because she cares, because she cares that we, what the school we go to. She hopes we have a good future, a good life, and yeah, even though she gets angry, we all know, we all, we all know she still loves us. I love my theater. I like being in her classroom, and I like Miss Eric, and I like Miss Erica and Miss Theater, cause they're nice. I like playing near, I like playing in the housekeeper. I mean, in Candyland. I like 
like about Miss Brown when we when we're drawing um playing with my best friends. I want I like to play in your class. Uh, hi, Miss Yarrow. Um, I kind of appreciate you. I appreciate coming to your class every day, and I really want to stay, but I can't. So I wish you a very good summer vacation. Hey, Miss Yarrow. I just want to say that I enjoy all the things that you do for us. You teach us a lot of things. You make us very smart. And you are the best first grade teacher I ever had, even though you're the only first grader teacher I ever had. Thank you. Good. Hello, what is Gary? And I'll be your guy for the day. Hi, Miss Yara. I just want to tell you that, uh, that thank you for all the stuff that you teach me this year and that that I got smarter than kindergarten than I used to be and that I will miss you all the summer vacation. I miss you all the I miss you all the summer vacation and I'll never forget this year. Hey Miss Shara, thank you for being my teacher and teaching me new stuff that I didn't know and I wish you a good summer vacation and I wish I could be in your class and, um, next year too. Hi Miss Shara, all I have to say was I appreciate what you've done for all of us. I hope you have a good summer break and we all love you. And I, and and we love the things that you taught us. You taught us some things that we never knew before, like about animals and stuff, the cool things. And you taught us about how, you also taught us how to listen and about everything and about everything. Thank you. Miss Shears make everybody proud and um, she does everything for us and I think we should like do something for her like make her take a day off or do a celebration for her. Miss Shields is one of the best teachers that I've had all during the school years that I've been at this school and she's treated us so well and had a great spirit for all of us and taught us very cool things. She is one of the funniest teachers and serious teachers I've ever had. Thank you, Miss Shields, for being my teacher. Miss Shields is one of the best teachers I have ever had. And when we make a mistake, she lets us know and she shows us how to fix it. Gamaya Mana Zatsis and and Mr. Dick but Lanik as F Happy at Lanik as Avidai Dick Mrs. Dick as Mavs and Charlie and Sasha Tali and everything. Miss Shields is one of the best teachers she t t teachers um, in the school. She she taught us a lot about math, 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 and and play and about si science. Miss Chills, you're the bestest teachers I've ever had. You teach us everything. So I wish you could be my teacher next year too. Thank you, Ms. Chills, for being one of the most best teachers that I've ever had. And I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to be here next year and in the third grade because I really want you to be my teacher again. But I'm happy because you've let us learn a lot of things and you've taught us most of everything we should know in the fourth grade. 
So thank you for doing that for me, and I'm happy that you were my teacher, and I appreciate you. Even though I got in trouble a lot, I, you still, you still let me, like, like, no, you still let me be who I needed to be, and no. you, uh, let us, you let me, um, try over and over again, and I've got a lot better with that, and I thank you for that, for that. Thank you, Michelle, for putting all this knowledge in my head, and I just want to appreciate you for learning everything I need to know. And I'll miss you next year. One of the best things I like about Miss Thomas is when she make um them funny the funny um talks and she and she and she shows the her, the videos on on her Facebook page and sometimes we watch some nature videos and I like them that too. Miss Thomas the best teacher because she makes funny she makes funny voices when she's in class to make learning more fun. And when we need help, she helps us. And then, so, that's why I think she's the best teacher. And then she, like, she makes reading fun. And, like, if we do all our work, she'll give us, like, treats, little treats. And then, gotta be good in the hallway. Just basic stuff. And that's why I like Miss Thomas. Um, Miss Thomas, I know you, you kind of push me. and. Yeah, I know you're just trying to get us ready for sixth grade and help us learn. And when we're stuck on a problem, you help us out. And you just, you're, I know you're just doing the pushing us in love. And thank you for doing that. Miss Thomas, thank you for letting me do my work over and give me another chance and raising my grades up. I like Miss Thomas because she's very cool and funny and she always making jokes and she taught me a lot of stuff even though we had our ups and downs. I still like her as a teacher. Miss Thomas, I really enjoyed having you and like when I was down, you helped me up. You let us redo our work to catch our grades up. So I really enjoyed you. Thank you. Miss Thomas, you are so strict, but you're funny and you help us keep our guys up. And I thank you and really enjoy you for that. I love you, I love you. Miss Thomas, you're one of my best teachers. And um, I just like when you uh, put on Facebook and look at videos. And um, when you just have us read and get in our Chromebooks. Miss Thomas, you're so funny and you make learning fun. That's why, I, and you want us to get ready for sixth grade. That's why I think you're just the best teacher that I had all year. Miss Thomas, you are strict, but you make it up by being loving and funny. I learned so much from you, not just fifth grade skills, but life lessons. Thank you for being my teacher. Miss Thomas, I enjoyed you being my teacher this year. I know we had our good times and bad times, funny moments and bad moments. Well, I thank you for being my teacher this year. Miss Thomas, you are the best teacher in the world. To say that you are not would be absurd. We know this year has been tough, but we, we know we know this year has been rough, but we know that you are tough. You helped us on our test. This year was the best. But all I want to say, the last thing I, I mean, the last thing I want to say is you are the best thing in my world. Miss Johnson. You is a wonderful teacher. I like how you teach us teach us math and how you teach. Dear Miss Johnson, you are the best teacher anyone could ever have. Miss Johnson, you are the best teacher in the world. Dear Miss Johnson, you are my favorite teacher that I've had this year and you are the only one that leaves nice to me. Love, Leah. 
Dear Ms. Johnson, you are the best teacher ever. Because every time in the morning, you, when you get when you get here, I always help you. You always you always be messy. Dear Ms. Johnson, I'm here to tell us three things about you. Um, I love you. You're the best teacher ever, and nobody could ever have you except us. Hi, Ms. Johnson. You're the best teacher ever, and I wish I could. And I wish you can be my second grader teacher because you are the nicest teacher ever. Love, Tati. Dear Ms. Johnson, I want, I'll thank you for being our teacher this year. I wish you was our teacher next year. I wish I, wish I was a teacher now that you are my best teacher. Ms. Johnson, I have four things to tell about you. You're, you're, you're the best teacher. I hope you be our third grade teacher and our second grade and our fourth grade teacher. Love Evan. Now I want to be a teacher like you. Dear Ms. Johnson, I, I love you because you are a good teacher and you are absolutely very cute. Ms. Johnson, I really want to thank you for being the best teacher ever because I really love being your student. So I wanted to really, really thank you for being the best of all of my life. Ms. Johnson is a good teacher. She teaches us that be a good student and she gives us treats and she teaches us how to read math and write and she teaches us sight that we can get on. I want to thank Ms. Joseph for helping us with everything that she done for us. Helping us learn math, write, and read and everything else she does for us. Thank you Ms. Joseph for being the teacher that we need you to be and helping us do everything we need help with and Thank you. I like Miss Allison's toys. So when I teach you, I play with her toys like in baths and her. I love my teacher, I can play in box center. The reason I like Miss Dawn is because she is sweet and nice. And I like Ms. Stone because she is a good teacher. She teaches good stuff. I like Ms. Stone because she's pretty and she helps us whenever we need stuff. And she's nice and she gives us treats. I like Ms. Stone because she helps us when our work is too hard. She helps us and she gives us treats, and she gives us chance after chance, and she's a pretty teacher. Hey, Miss Stone. Um, I like Miss Stone because she always be nice, and she gives us chance after chance, even though we don't do it right. And sometimes we don't listen, and sometimes we don't act right. But Miss Stone, she gives us chance after chance. And I love for Miss Stone have. Miss Stone give us homework so we can so we can review our lessons and we might get hard stuff for our homework even though we don't know it we still can have good we can have good grades and do good things. We love you, Miss Stone. Hi, Miss Stone. The fun thing about Miss Friend class. When we we said like one day we said we was we be quiet for the rest of the day. Miss Fran did a dab, and the funny thing was she actually did it. Um, what the number one thing I like about Miss Fran um is that when some days when she come to work she'll try to make it the best day ever, and um some teachers try to teachers try to make it to work every single day, but sometimes she couldn't do that, but. She, we pleasure her 
to be the best teacher ever, and if this is her last year, we tell her that we all thank her. Most thing, the most fun thing about fifth grade is Miss Fran's very silly, and she's very creative, and she came to school one day with blue hair. And that day, the teacher, Miss Thomas, scared us in class, <laughs> and we got really scared. <laughs> Miss um, Fran, she funny and she be trying to dance and stuff. And one time she told um, she told Kevin to put some respect on her name. And she was, and she was she was like she told him to stop playing because he was he was over there trying to do push ups and then she be she be making us laugh. So she can be mean sometimes, but sometimes she can be really funny. And uh, once she let us go outside when it, when the principal said it was inside recess, and she let us go outside. Uh, we ate uh, ice cream inside her class once. Uh, Miss Fran, I just want to say thank you for being a kind teacher and a nice teacher and the best teacher you can ever have. Thank you. Well, I like this friend because she's nice most of the time and she's funny. Miss Frank can be a really fun teacher at times, and she takes up for us a lot, and she teaches us. Because when we get in trouble for s something really stupid, she'll take up for us. Miss Frank is a really nice teacher, but um, she's strict too. But at the same time, she's fun. Like the stuff that she do, like she she won't be like she the type of teacher that's funny. That's not she not trying to be funny. Like she'll do some stuff. Like she's trying to be serious, but we all just. <coughs> Laugh. So. Well, um, Miss Fred is like she a good teacher and she she does take up for us like Avery said and um it's I like the way she is because like if we like sleeping like if we like dozing off in class she'll get in the class and then do something <coughs> she'll do something funny and then she'll wake us all up. The thing I like about Miss Friend the most is that she's nice. She's very goofy when sometimes and most of the times, yes. Um, and it's just that I, I always wanted her as a teacher, and I'm just thankful that I got her. Thank you, Miss Thank my teacher because she is yes, nice and she, she she tells us about a lot of stuff and, and she and we learn a lot of stuff from her. Sometimes about our teacher because she let us play in Sanders. Miss Demore, I like you because you give us homework and help us learn. And she's nice and she helps us learn. I like my teacher because. She lets us have breakfast, and she lets us she lets us go to the cafeteria and have lunch. I like my teacher because I'm funny and really funny. I like my teacher because she let us have snack and 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 sometimes she she let us have. Worms and dirt. Miss Pitch, thank you for letting me be in your class this year. And I want to say thank you for letting me be in this class this year. I want to say that you're good teachers. You're teaching your kids good stuff. I need to say thank you for being my teacher, Miss Pitch. I, I love you. Thank you for being my teacher this year. Um, I like all the things that you, that you teach us, and you, you've been nice to me. And Miss Pitt, I just want to say you're the best teacher ever. And Miss Pitt, I want to be in your classroom next year, and I love you. Thank you for being my teacher this year. I just want to say that I love you very much, Miss Pitt. I just want to say, Miss Pitts, you are the nicest teacher in the world, and you are the best teacher I've ever had. I just want to say that you're the best, Miss Pitts. I just want to say that thank you for pushing me to my limits and beyond. 
You are the best teacher I've ever had, Miss Pitts. Hi, Miss Pitts. You've been the best teacher I ever had. Hi, Miss Pitts. It's me, and I just wanted to say you're the best I had, the best teacher I ever had. Hi, Miss Pitts. I just want to say you're great. Hi, Miss Pitts. It's me. I was just going to tell you that you're the best teacher that I ever had. And thank you for preparing us for third grade and teaching us multiplication facts. Thank you. Hello, Miss Pitts. It's me, London. And you're a good teacher. Miss Asbury, we might have rough days sometimes, but thank you for teaching me. Miss Salisbury, thank you for teaching us. You're nice, you're respectful. Thank you, Miss Salisbury, for teaching us. You are the best teacher ever, and I, and I like that you teach us and um, respected us. Thank you, Miss Salisbury, for teaching me. You're a nice teacher, and I respect you every time you speak and every time you teach. Miss Salisbury, even though we have ups and downs, you're an awesome teacher, and you blow my mind. Miss Salisbury, you know we had some bumps in the road, but look where you had taught me now. You taught me math, science, and everything else. I'm going to fifth grade now, and you have taught me everything I know now. Thank you. Thank you for being our teacher and teaching us everything we are. Thank you, Miss Salisbury, for teaching us all that we need to know. And thank you for teaching us science, math, social studies, and helping us on reading and math so we can go to fifth grade. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Salisbury, for being our teacher, even if we were bad sometimes. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Salisbury, for being our teacher and teaching us the stuff we need to learn. Even even though the year was kind of rough, we still appreciate you teaching us all the subjects in, in the uh, in the school year. My teacher, she is the best teacher in the world and she takes care of me. I like my chicken. I like my teacher because she let us go to sins and play and, and I like how we do work too. I love my teacher because she is the best. I love my teacher because she's pretty and she's the best teacher in the world this year. Her take care of us and her do the best and her the best teacher ever. I love my teacher because she's the best teacher I ever seen. I love my teacher because she is the best teacher that I ever had and she is nice. I like my teacher because she's the best teacher of all. I like my teacher because she is the best and she wear beautiful clothes all day at school and she's so sweet. She think about me, she's so sweet. When I um visit Carla, uh, she was the prettiest and nice teacher, and she was beautiful. Miss Corrigan, she's a nice teacher. When we always do something good, she'll give us treats, and she always be nice to us, and then she help us with our paper when we need help. I like Miss Corrigan because she let us draw, and she's nice. Miss Corrigan's nice. Every time we know we pour a penny, she let us earn it back. Miss Corrigan is the best teacher I have, and she's funny. I like Miss Corrigan because if you have five pennies all week, she lets you be super student. And when you pull a penny, she lets you earn it back. But just so you can't feel bad, she makes a joke out of it. Miss Quirk is the best teacher ever because when you pull a penny shot, you order it back and when you pick up trash on the floor, she'll give you a treat. I like Miss Corrigan because she's nice to us and she always um, she always likes to be funny and she's nice. Miss Corrigan is nice because if you pull a penny, you, she'll let you earn it back and then if you do stuff, she will, she will let you, she will, Try to let you do, get it back, and when you get in trouble, she will try to make she will make it funny so you won't be embarrassed of yourself, and she will she will always let you give treats. But sometimes, if you pick up the um, paper towels in the bathroom or you help up clean carpet, she would let some 
sometimes give us treats and stuff, and when we play games, she would give us treats, and we win before lunch, and she would do fun stuff for us. Mr. Anderson was the best teacher I've had, and I'm really going to miss being in his classroom, and he was the first um, male teacher that I've ever, ever had, and he just feels like a father to me, and like, he's always there for all of my um, classmates and, and me, and it's just wonderful how he really cares. Mr. Anderson is the first male teacher that I have really ever had. He is the most exciting, fun, personal person that I've ever been with. He has, this is my first time having a A, a well, a B in math, and I think it's really because of him and me putting in all the work. But he also helps me. He takes care of all of us, and I love Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson is the first black male teacher that I've ever had, and he put, he makes learning fun, and all the other teachers that I have are strictly worksheets, but he actually adds stuff where we can get up and move around and have fun while we're learning. And I love him, and he's like the father that I never had. Mr. Anderson, um, he's he's a great teacher and and he's taught me a lot. But one of my favorites is that for your classmates, you you don't have to be friends with everyone, but you at least have to have respect for everyone. And he's taught me a lot, and and he makes learning really exciting. He he um gets to let us um have fun and and talk and play and and he's a nice teacher. I go, I go to I go to Anderson's school house. Even though I don't go to them a lot, I really feel like I'm a part of the class and I'm a part of the student. I really, even though I just go to pull out, I really feel like I'm learning something. I think Mr. Anderson is a great teacher because he helps us learn things and I just want to say thank you for increasing my learning. Mr. Anderson is one of the greatest teachers on our, in our school, and he's also basically everyone here's first male teacher. We can all agree on that. He can turn bad students into miracle workers, and he could change grades like from F's to A's. And he's also not just a good, good teacher, but he's also a great friend. The reason I like Miss Cook is because she teaches us like really nicely. She doesn't like yell her voice unless like something really happens. And like she does her best to teach us. She does our best to teach us and she like just tries to do everything good. The reason I like Miss Cook is because she tries to make learning fun. Like we'll we'll shoot rockets just like to learn about how rockets go into space. And instead of like sit, teach, sitting us down and teaching us about the stars, we'll go into this big star lab and we get to look up at look up and we'll it's just like we're like in space and we get to see the stars. She let us do 21st century and learn about science and we had a very good time. The reason I like young astronauts and Miss Cook is because she makes learning fun and we get to go in the star lab and look at the constellations and learn about stars and space and we also, when she turns the light out and presses a button, you get to lay down and look at the stars on the ceiling. And she just teaches us what that fun activity is. I like young astronauts because when we are young astronauts we learn we watch videos that help us learn and every time I go in there I learn new stuff and we get to have fun every day. I like Miss Cook because she gives us second chances even though somebody else messes it up. I like doing the Star Lab because we get to learn about fun things instead of just sitting down working on worksheets. 
The reason I like math lab because we get to learn the science fun things in math lab. We get to play with the QB planks and we get to have fun. I like Mrs. Demonson Lab because she lets us use materials to make things like doing volume and everything and sometimes she lets us play around with the Kiva planks and build things, towers, the highest towers and everything. I like math lab because she is she tries to teach us well and we always play with the Cuba planks and instead of we don't always do math even though it's called math lab we just sometimes we just try to have fun and sometimes when we get in trouble sometimes she'll give us a second chance it depends on what we did and she just tries her best to teach us the reason I like math lab is because instead of pulling pages after the math book, she actually likes let us work with it hands on because some people can't do it like without seeing it. Um, I like math lab because we get to do hands on things and that like writing and also she uh she like teaches a teaches us a lot of things and also mathletes. She coaches the mathletes teams and I was on the mathletes and it was fun. I like Coach Flynn because it, like every three weeks or two we get to learn all new sports that we haven't played before and this week Next Thursday, we get to play baseball against each other and have just have fun. I like Coach Springer because even though somebody messes it up, he'll keep it going and just pull him out of class. He won't just stop the whole lesson. Coach Springer is cool. He has us play basketball, and every time he does something funny, he makes us laugh. I like PE because he tries to make it safe but fun. Like he won't make let us play with those big metal bats that the pros play with. He'll let us play like the plastic ones, but we'll still have fun. He lets us like learn the bases and he just tries to let us have fun. I really like um PE because he makes it really safe for us and he like tries to make it really fun. And if somebody gets in trouble, he pulls them out, so we will, it won't ruin all of our fun if we didn't do anything. I like art because she lets us paint sometimes, and she tries to teach us about what we're doing before we like start. I like Miss Reddit because she gives us check. Even though somebody messes up, she'll still let us continue our work. Sometimes she helps us if we don't understand it. I like Miss Reddy because she lets us draw and paint, and when we get finished with our work, she let us play with puzzles and stuff, and then she just let us have fun and paint. I like Miss Reddy and her art class because she like makes everything more fun, and then she does these really cool paintings and activities, so it makes art class really fun. Like every like week, we'll either do something new or we'll review something we already did in the past. And it might be boring when we review it, but once actually when we get our hands in, it's really fun. I like Miss Shoes because she let us do different activities. Like at the end of the day, we get the free dance and stuff and listen to some music that we like. And this week and next week, we're going to be focusing on the drums and we're just going to have fun. Miss Sue, she taught us how to do the drums, and then she, and then she teach us how to do boom ta ta, and then it was fun, and then she always let us free dance at the end if we got time. I like music because she like makes everything more fun, and then she lets us like do really fun activities. She doesn't just like get the music book and like. It just makes us reach that we only do it when we like do something really, really bad. And then so she lets us like play her instruments and stuff. And sometimes she's funny when she say, look at me in my pretty brown eyes. Green eyes. <laughs> Whatever. I like Miss Thomas because even though we don't see her a lot, she helps us around the school with the peer helpers and going skating sometimes and 
with the uh, Holiday Hope, helping other kids with leukemia. I like Miss Thomas him because she teaches us how to go to sixth grade and she let us watch videos about sixth grade and not to be a bully. And this is a bully free zone kind of school. I like Miss Thomason because she tries to help us with middle school and she loves for like, like fill out our own forms. Um, she, we watch videos about bu bullying and tell us not to do it and do no drugs. But the most, the thing she's, we've been talking about mostly the whole year is uh, middle school and not join too many clubs but, and just try to get your work done. I like Miss Thompson because she makes like learning of not to do like really fun. She lets us watch videos about not bullying. She lets us learn about sixth grade. She just like does a lot of stuff that helps us. I like Miss Thompson because she teaches us about sixth grade and like no bullying and then she did helps us with peer helper and to help the teachers what they need to do and also to um do the holiday hope for raising money for leukemia and lymphoma and we um just thank her she lets most of the kids in fifth grade do the news and she teaches us how to look up books in our library and she tells us about this book series and that book series and helps us and i like when she does the book fair so we can get all the cool stuff Miss Rice, she helped us read chapter books and other books. And when she read the chapter books to us, and when she finished reading the chapter, she passed the book around. I like Miss Wright because she helps us sign books in the library. And when we do the news, it's like we're like it's like we're professionals. We it's like it's like it shows through the whole school, and it's real fun, really fun. And then when we go into the library, she teaches us lessons about people. Um, different people who wrote books and helps teaches us uh, and we have this digging for diamonds and we have to uh, read at least like three Charlie Bates diamond books or different kind of books and then we have to choose which one was our favorite and that's the book that I want. I like Miss Banks because she helps us in GT. She helps us read books and make our AI points. She also has funny moments with us when, like, if some, she says this, we all laugh, or when somebody else says something, we do this. And so I like when we have our deep discussions about books, like Lines of Little Rock and the Little Rock Nine and everything. I also like Ms. Banks because she helps us in DI with all our, with going to globals and state and regionals and everything. I like Ms. Banks in her class because she makes learning really fun. She like has our fun moments with us. She like does recycling with us, and that's the best part of GT. She like tells us to like go to horseshoe, which is all the activities, and she just makes recycling really fun. And then when we come back from recycling, we get to do all type of board games and stuff. Um, I like Miss Banks because like she is like sometimes like she'll make fun of me because like when we have different math problems I like work it out in the air and she like kind of do this with me like what are you writing and um, we do recycling it is so fun we go through every uh, we go through every class get the recycling bin and okay. we won a $1,000 grant and we, we were able to buy a, buy a new cart um, and something to hold the recycling bin open and we have a footstool. So we can reach the I like Miss Banks because she helps us with our work and does group discussions and we could come to her for anything and she's just so involved with the school and she is involved in recycling, DT, 21st century and um, in DI and we just want to thank her for everything she does and for all the time her and Mr. Banks. I like Miss Shealy because she helps us do typing web and last year she did nitro type with us and it was fun because sometimes she beat us and sometimes she did it and then she helps us with our key keypad keywords and everything and when she helps us with wordle to create wordles and everything and when we do our star test I like to thank her for helping us with that I like Miss Shealy and Miss Baker because 
On the outside, Miss Baker let us have fun and play a lot. And with Miss Sheelan in the computer lab, she let us just sometimes let us get on school appropriate websites and have fun with each other and get on nitro type sometimes. I like Miss Sheelan because yeah. she lets us um like some when we do our star test, she helps us log in, and she's like nice until we. Be bad, but and Miss and Miss Baker, she is so nice when we're outside. She lets us have fun. She doesn't mind if we like do flips and stuff right in front of her. She doesn't mind if we do anything unless it's bad. Miss Shirley, she always teaches how to get on the computer. When I first came to Carver, um, when I went to computer lab in kindergarten. And then I kept on touching the screen, and then she told me how to use the mice and then the keyboard, and then we do dance type to show us how to do the keyboard. And she's the best teacher, and so Miss Baker. Miss Value is a good teacher. She helps me with my speech and with my reading. And thank you, Ms. Value, for and for uh and to me and how to do my speech and uh and make me get uh and better grades on my work. Um I like when I read to read to us in um you help us learn and you help us get smarter. Hey Ms. Stewart, thank you for letting us help read so much. Thank you, Ms. Stewart, for helping me read and for working with me and doing stuff for us. And, 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 and I hope you have a great summer. She is nice and pretty.